brainchild of Assistant Corporation Counsel Ben Haskins, the idea was first introduced to the city's housing committee last month, with local leaders continuing a push to crack down on zombie properties to better neighborhoods. To kick things off, officials are seeking $750,000 of American Rescue Plan Act funds. RPAPL 19A is a statute under New York State law that allows municipalities to take title to properties that are vacant, number one, and number two, either at least one year in unpaid taxes or subject to an order of condemnation. While not every project will yield a profit, officials say that's not the point of this program. Uh, instead of turning a profit, the kind of focus has to be how can we have the biggest impact on our neighborhoods by doing a house here? Mm -hmm. Once the homes are up to standards, they will be sold to first-time homeowners through many different programs. New homeowner would then have to keep the property maintained with an action-based mortgage. Selling them to people who will A, reside in them for at least five years as an owner-occupant, B, during that time, pay their taxes on time, and C, once all the initial code enforcement violations that were written up upon our taking title have been fixed, that they will ameliorate any further code enforcement that arise, arises over that five-year period. While this is a huge gamble for the city to take on, Director of Development Crystal Surtix says the benefits definitely outweigh the risks. There's a number of benefits. so. If we don't rehab the house, if we don't do some kind of intervention to this particular property and similar ones, um, there is a high likelihood that eventually we would have to demolish the property. That's a much higher cost than the loss that we would be taking. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, it helps to stabilize that neighborhood. She goes on to say that the newly occupied homes will also change dynamics within the city of Jamestown. A major focus of that program is to create new homeowners. <coughs> yeah. Right now we have a 51% um, rental in the city versus a 49% homeowner-occupied property, which mm -hmm. is going the wrong direction. This program is still in development and will gain additional input from the Chautauqua County Land Bank, the Real Estate Investors Association, and members of the Jamestown City Council before moving forward. Reporting in the newsroom, Bronson Rasison, WNY News Now.